So you're curious about how async await works in Swift, but you don't have a lot of time? In just a few minutes, I'll show you everything you need to understand how these powerful keywords work. Let's start by talking about functions. In Swift, there are two kinds of functions. First, we have the functions that don't need to wait on anything to compute their results. Even though these functions can take a long time to compute their results, they're able to compute it without needing to take a pause while they execute. We call these functions synchronous functions. But there is another kind of functions, the functions that do need to take a pause during their execution in order to wait for an external event to complete. We call these functions asynchronous functions. A typical example would be a function that needs to await for a network call to complete. In order to clearly indicate that the function will pause until the network call completes, we use the keyword await at the call site. We also need to update the signature of the function with the keyword async to indicate that the function is allowed to take a pause during its execution. The big difference between synchronous and asynchronous functions is that since asynchronous functions can pause during their execution, we are only allowed to call them in specific places. We can call an async function either from within another async function or from within a task that will be executed in the background. And that's it, we've covered the basics of how async await works in Swift. Thanks to these two keywords, we are now able to deal with asynchronous code in a way that is both very safe and very readable. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next one. Thank you for watching and see you next time.